I'm not bringing peace, but the wrath of the Lord. I'm Billy. Ma, I'd never say who my father was, so I don't got no last name. She gave me this medallion before I could talk. It's engraved with a candlestick, so that's what the kids call me. Candle. Eat spick or pepper gut. Yeah, my mom's from Mexico. The town I grew up in is just over the border, and the folks there are mostly white. Like my stepfather, Thomas. A big, mean son of a bitch who just as soon backhand me as look at me. I grew up in a town called Hope. Pretty much the most hopeless place I've ever seen. It's full of well, there it is. Hope. A haven for outlaws, assholes, and hypocrites. Jones Cabin. Good place to practice some shooting. What the heck are you doing? This is private property. Okay, okay, easy. Get out. Get off my property. Hey, you wouldn't shoot old Jones, would you? I got nothing against you. We don't need no trouble now.
I'm here to see the one person on earth who ever gave a damn about me. My ma. Other than my stepfather, there's three some bitches in particular I hope to avoid. a mile away. My, my. Billy Candle. Been a long time, boy. Sheriff. I don't think Thomas will be too pleased to see you. You come back to set things right with you? Well, before you go out there, I think you better give me your gun. Hand it over. But, Sheriff. Drop it, boy. Do anything stupid, son. Thank God for that, boy. Thank God for that. I just got to town and the sheriff's already on my ass. Son of a bitch. Damn, I gotta get myself a gun. Billy Candle, is that you? Boy, you're growing like a weed. Stand still. Let me take a measure. Just in case. You want to see me plant it already? Well, looks like you're as tall as Reverend Ray. Look at those hombres. They look like trouble. Well, Billy Candle, ain't you a sight for sore eyes? Susie. She keeps a gun in her drawers. I'm pissed at you, Billy. Here in town, and you don't come to see your old friend, Susie? <laughs> yeah, right. Billy's planning things now. Get your skinny butt up here before I change my mind. So far, so good. Don't see no sign of that SOB Forrester. Uh-oh. <laughs> Billy the Spick. Where you think you're going, boy? Hope you don't think you're getting lucky. <laughs> Not unless you've got some money. Relax, Clyde. I'm just here to say hello. Your balls will be saying hello to my boot in a second, boy. You want a piece of Susie, you gotta pay, muchacho. Billy, go to the window round back. Hot busted, huh? Should have known. Thought you were gonna find the gold of Juarez. Well, maybe you can find a rope to get your ass through this window. But don't raise a ruckus. This whip will do just fine. <laughs> Hi, Susie. Shh. Wait here. I'll be back in a minute. I want to make sure Clyde is occupied. In the meantime, why don't you wash off some of that trail dust? All right. Where the hell's that Derringer? <laughs> it's not loaded. Damn it, Susie, where do you keep the bullets? Clyde's occupied with Joanne, so we got some time to get reacquainted. But, but we best keep our voices down, darling. So you never found the family jewels? Maybe I can help. 
Oh, my. You have grown. Thought I heard you in here. You got an itch that needs scratching, boy? How about you let old Clyde take care of it? You're not getting away that easy! A half hour with Susie for anybody who can get his hands on that little greaser! I'd skin that boy alive for a taste of that little trollop. Looks like we found you. 